that's good. Uh oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Friday Knit. I'm Phoebe and this is... I don't have a name for her. What should I call her? She still has her plastic on. Um, oh, I'm gonna call her Regina George because she's plastic. Or should I just call her George? I think I'm just gonna call her George. Okay, act cool. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is George. George is not a sexy name. So today's video is going to be these cardigans and also this um, top as well, which I'll show you guys. It's got like the really cute little bralette thing going on here. So if you've clicked here from the pattern, then welcome. I hope this video helps you in making your um, cardigan. If you are here to watch this video before you decide to purchase a pattern, just to see if like it suits your skill set or not, then welcome as well. I hope like it helps you decide on that easier. And if you're just here to chill and listen along to a mediocre tutorial, then welcome as well. I, I filmed my little tutorial like a month ago and this is like a month later and I have no idea what I filmed. I sort of looked at it, but I don't remember. But yeah, this is the end result. And this is the one I knit in the pattern. For the top though, the bralette, I don't have a tutorial on it, but it is worked pretty much the same if you do decide to get this pattern as well so that yeah you guys can like have a look at that and then you can make like a matching set if you wanted to me and George are like the best of friends okay let's go so these pieces worked from the bottom up you start at the bottom of the back and then work up and then you wind off stitches for the neck continue it down and then you work the hemline and that sort of joins the whole piece together and then after that you seam it up at the sides and then pick up for your sleeves and of course your button band as well. My main reason for working the cardigan like this was for a few details. Um, the first one was that I wanted the hem to be the same at the back and the front because if I'd started like at the hem and then working that up and then down the front, the rib stitches would have been facing the wrong way. Like you wouldn't have noticed unless you were just like fully looking it. Plus I wanted the cable to be quite seamless going from back to front so that it would look nice and like one piece it was worth it to get the final look that I wanted. Um, the castle was really simple after I figured it out but I basically figured out to work with two balls of yarn for the cable stitches because I didn't really want to be carrying that yarn over around the back and I thought that was a waste of yarn so I would recommend doing two balls for your cable stitches if you're doing a different colour. It's like a little tedious I'm not gonna lie but in the end it like ends up being a lot better and this is why I really don't work in Taja or Feral that much but yeah I think this was definitely worth it. When you join across as well you basically just work the colours as they appear and sort of carry the yarn around the back. Yeah, this got really, really messy and tangled and can we just take a moment to appreciate the baby alpaca as well? Yeah, if I look really, really tired, it's because I am really tired. I remember being so tired when I was working this, like the week I was working this, it was just like, I was exhausted and I had, it's like I wasn't going to show my face, but then I just like figured, nah, I'll just do it, doesn't matter. So this gets really tedious if you're using different colours. Um, like I'm just moving my yarn around so it doesn't get tangled up because I know it'll end in tears later. But yeah, if you guys do make the coloured ones, know you're not alone. So that's the back piece worked up. Um, I sort of like tried it on niche. I made this a lot shorter than I actually wanted to, to be honest. I don't know. I thought this was I wanted like a cropped one but it ended up being way more cropped than I expected but I do still like it I think it'll look really cute with like dresses in spring but yeah this is just me trying to just untangle so by the end I kind of got the hang of like making the twists and stuff along for the cable I don't know if if you're in doubt about like working the twists, just make as many twists as they did in every season of Pretty Little Liars until you find a finish that makes no sense, but it kind of works. 
Yeah, the yarn there looks like spaghetti because um, I think it was near the end of the ball, so it was like um, it just unraveled itself, and I just could not be bothered trying to ravel it back up. Yeah, so now I'm just working the fronts down for each side. And yeah, I think I didn't use like a second ball of the main color for like until I was like at my left side. So I think this yarn went like pretty far and it was really, really nice as well. So yeah, usually when I'm knitting, I might listen to like a podcast or something. But honestly, I've always been okay with just silence. Like I'm one of those people that can sit in silence. Like I've taken eight hour road trips without listening to music and literally just sitting in the car listening to nothing. Um, but I've been really enjoying like lo-fi YouTube lately. I think it's really like chill and nice. So this is like the hem where you just sort of pick up the stitches there at the bottom. I think here I hadn't really figured out whether or not to like pick up stitches for like the colored part and then so yeah I hadn't carried the yarn around and then I just decided to do that. So yeah, this is with the hem done there, you can see, and yeah, I thought it was really, really cool because the hem sort of keeps it all together. I decided to do the button band, I think, first before doing the sleeves. It's up to you what you want to do. I kind of like seeing like an almost finished product and seeing like it'll look good. And I also, I think I wanted to like take this with me to the shops so I could see what the buttons would look like on it as well. <laughs> yeah, the button bands, I wanted it to be on like the lower part of the cardigan so that it would be right after the increases. So after you, wherever you can see your increases, that's sort of where I wanted the like top button to be. And the, I didn't end up using those buttons in the end, but they were just sort of there so I could see where to like make my buttonholes. The buttons I did end up finding for these were really cute. I'll give you guys like a close up of it at the end. So yeah, this part you just sort of measure for when you want to seam up your side. So yeah, I, I like, I've said I hated seaming, but I don't mind seaming when it's already sort of like together. Like the pieces are already sort of matched up. So I didn't really have to bother trying to make sure that it was all okay like it was already done for me if that makes sense um and i just used a simple mattress stitch which was actually really like satisfying like seriously if you guys just watch like for a little bit and then at the end you pull it and it makes like this really satisfying just finish it's probably not as satisfying on this because it's baby alpaca so like the fibers sort of like pull each other but it was still really really cool Oh, yum. Um, yeah, and then that was just really my last sleeve. I really want to find a pair of needles that are just shorter than this. I like I the magic loop is fine as a technique, but I really I'm not a fan of it. I just I'm one of those people that just likes to keep knitting like over and over again until like the end of time. If I could just knit everything around, that's all I do. But yeah. Yeah, this is the finished result for both of the cardigans.
So for the top as well, it's pretty much the same. You work your piece up and then you work just the straps and then you cast on again for the back piece or the front piece because it's pretty much like the same. And then you work your hem and it's like really simple. Um, yeah, the only thing with this one is just making sure the straps didn't really twist the wrong way because they can twist the wrong way and they're all facing the right way and then also making sure to like seam down sort of between each cable or after each cable just so like it didn't turn around and stuff when you're wearing it and that this is pretty much it so if you guys have made this please do tag me on instagram i would love to see your final result and thanks again for watching i'll see you guys next time Thank you.